What up, T Squad? It's me, Keisha, and I'm here with a new behind the scenes T video. So, you guys, you know, last week we were dishing in the T about Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan split, only for them to make up a few days later, like I said they would. And how I said that at that point, I believed that it was all a publicity stunt. Well, it seems like Larsa's co stars, Alexia, and Marisol think the same thing. On their podcast last week, the two discussed the whole entire situation and they did not hold back, okay? So let's get into what they had to say and I'll be back with my thoughts. So Larsa and Marcus split after more than a year of dating. The pair who were confirmed to be dating in early 2023 have gone their separate ways. Source confirms to People Magazine. Um... Let's just who are these sources this. confined to know. People Magazine? Like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. I'm guessing it was her. <laughs> this is what I'm guessing. Because as things have developed, okay, so fast forward. They each deleted all the photos of each other on their Instagram pages and right. unfollowed each other. Right. And Cuando eso pasa, mi amiga, is yeah. because something it's, really like bad that pissed you off did that. Because right. there's no way if you guys are just going your separate ways because you want your working on yourselves and you, you're you doing personal growth. Mm -hmm. There's no way, you know, spontaneously on a Sunday at eight o'clock at night, you told the entire world that you guys broke up and follow each other uh -huh. and take a survey whether you should uh -huh. follow your boyfriend or not or unfollow them. Uh -huh. so, and, by, again, and by the way, I read that and because I'm a loyal friend and I'm a girl code, I unfollowed him. Boy, and, well, I never followed him because I'm a girl and and her friend. I don't follow anybody's guys that I'm not like friendly with. And yes, I'm friends with Marcus, but I, I don't follow any, I don't he follow was, none of the guys. I don't follow none of the house husbands. Well, I, I, I think that there's a respect there, of course, like you. And he was following me and I said to her, should I follow him back? And she said, yes. So I did. Oh, you asked her and, for permission? Of course I did. Of course, because I'm not kind of a person. Oh, no, with Larsa, you got to have to ask her for permission. No. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So here, here's she the says part. that it has nothing to do with her family input, but it's solely for their personal growth. Do you believe that? She said that that it was for yeah. their personal growth. Yes, absolutely. So why did he post a picture with his father when he erased all of her photos? Like he, he that was, was like, his personal like, growth. Yeah, that because that I'm that my dad and I have had to come to Jesus. Like like he's you know. Don but do you own. think? Do you think his family? Do you think the Jordan family has had an input on this whole relationship that has weighed in well, and has? At first, I did, but now that other things have come to light, I'm starting to feel like we've all been scammed, and I and my ma mind is going a, mil a million. Ooh, so Lars is a scammer too. Are you repeating I'm, what? what I'm, the, I the am reason? feeling like this whole little scenario has been some sort scam. of a scam because here's one thing that I know because I had a PR firm and I was a publicist. Jesus, I've dropped that a lot today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been a long time. I know about brass and paparazzi mm -hmm. very well. And yeah. I know where they hang out. Of course. I know they hang out all over the beach. How did they know they were getting back together on Valentine's day? How did the paparazzi know to get a well, picture of them? Right? Okay, let me fi let me finish. Huh. Let me finish my point. I know where they hang. We all know they hang out at Carbone and Prime One Twelve and behind the hotels on the beach. They don't hang out in Three of Flowers. No, the, the, trust me, they're not hanging out outside of floor shops. It is uh -huh. not a location that is uh, heavily right. trafficked by celebrities. Mm -hmm. And by the way, who even goes to a flower shop anymore? Don't you just want right. flowers? Of course, I absolutely. Mean, yeah, so it was, I was so staged. It was so yes. staged. I mean, because I know this all, nobody because I did cares. this for a living, and I'm like, right. wait a minute. So now all of a sudden, you're in a flower shop together. But how does a photographer know? Because they don't. And how do you them. walk into right? They don't. No, no, that's that's not a money maker hanging out by a flower shop. Trust me, I know the spots. 
in this town. Yeah, we no, do. but everybody knows. Everybody knows it's you know, staged. In LA, it was, it's crazy. And this is why we're even talking about it because it's right. so ridiculous at this point. Well, now, that, now, now I'm pissed because I was upset for her. You and I spent a lot of time talking about it, feeling yeah, bad. Yeah, we were her. like, you know, because you know, we no were matter what. About her. Yeah, even though everyone was rooting against them, I was not rooting against no. them. I loved, them, you know, I loved them together. I loved to see her happy and in love, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and to him as well. So when I first saw that, I said, "Wow!" Like, oh my god, can you imagine how Larsa must be feeling? I felt mm -hmm. terrible for her. Yeah, and and I reached out, even though I know she wasn't very happy with me. Yeah, because of the reunion. The reunion, yeah. That's I have to tune in. Um, but you know, even so I know how to put my differences aside. And when I know that somebody can be in pain or, or is hurting, I'm going to reach out to them. So I did. She responded later on at night. Thanks with mm -hmm. an XO. Mm -hmm. But then two days later, she gets back with Marcus and it's all over the place again. And the but only were reason they ever why really we don't apart? because this is ridiculous. You don't delete all those photos. And then two days later. You call up paparazzi and you're hanging out. I feel like it was just a publicity stunt. And that so you think the whole, re, but do you think the whole relationship is a publicity stunt? And they're I both can, I in have it. To, I have to tell you, if it, it, I if it's crossed my mind now that this happened, now that I'm looking at the whole thing and the timing and and everything, I'm like, and I was a publicist. I'm like, this smells. Well, I think it was like very calculated. Scale. The fact yeah. that she dropped the yeah. bomb. First of all, you're not that relevant. Okay, everybody's watching the Super Bowl, but of course, I follow her. So do you? And you know, in the housewife you told world, me. right? In the housewife <laughs> world, well, because I had people texting me, is this true? Yeah. So, and I figured you would know because I had my phone down. Mm -hmm. So you reached out to her, and she said it was. So. Yeah. No, exactly. she said it was through the breakup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, because I didn't, I was like into my game, so I didn't do any of that, but I saw so many people reaching out to me and asking me, and I said, I think if she would do something like that, I don't think that could be, you know, I need. I think that that's true. I mean, I, I would never lie about something like that. I just don't know why she's doing so, so publicly, and, you know, she wanted to call, like, more attention. First of all, like, you know, you're not that famous, and, um... And, you know, it's not like you're dating Michael Jordan that people would really care, but she did do that. And then two or three days later, she's back with him, which I don't care. I, I want her happiness. So if that's what makes her happy, but now. Me too. But why, like, do you tell your, for, why do you tell your friends, hey, things are fine now. We're okay. Because we were all really worried. I was like, I'm going to come see you. Mm -hmm. I unfollowed Marcus. You know, I was, I went into like girlfriend mode. And now, you know, when I, you know, I see the flower, the paparazzi photos, I was like, oh my God, are she playing all of us? That upsets me. Because oh, I, I, it seems I like was, we are all thinking that, yeah. I mean, I just think it's very calculated. I think everything she does is very calculated. I mean, the fact that she waited, I don't know when the fight was. I don't know what prompted it. I don't know. I don't have any details. But the fact that she waited until Sunday, Sunday at 7 or 8 o'clock when the Super Bowl was on to announce that and put it in her story and then all the other bloggers for the in the housewife world pick it up and this, that, and the other. And then she has like TMZ on speed dial because everything she does, she reports it to TMZ. And TMZ picks it up. Well, one of them had to have told at least one outlet that I had deleted all their photos and unfollowed each other because people were watching the Super Bowl and nobody's paying attention to that. Of course, that's what I'm saying. Like, nobody cares. But the fact that she thinks that people care and then she calls all the outlets and everybody picks it up and then it starts becoming about that. I mean, I think that's pretty, like, I think that's pretty sick. I mean, like, who, 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 like, thinks about all those things? I'm, I'm just, I mean, like, in shock. If, if I had put this whole plan together and it was a PR stunt, I would have at least waited a month or three weeks before I get back and take pictures with my guy. You know, they well, didn't even wait obviously two she days. Doesn't have, obviously, she doesn't have a PR person because I don't know what PR person and publicist can be telling her to handle her personal life like this. Because mm -hmm. it's different when we're filming. The cameras are not, not here now. So why mm -hmm. are you doing this? You know what I mean? I'm, I, if you get into a fight and you're filming, you're going to film in your apartment that day and Marcus is not there, instead of lying, say the truth, whatever it might be. But the fact that we're not filming right now and she still wants to make her relationship so public and her life so public is shocking to me. Because then, then she doesn't want us to talk about it, but yet she's making it so public, right? Well, that, yeah, that's the problem that I have with her. Yeah, it's very duplicitous. It's not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm feeling, you know, I really, really like them together. And I really, really liked him. And I'm, I'm feeling like they're just playing all of us. 
tender and coats. Right. Yeah, I so I believe the same thing. I've thought about that myself. I'm like, you know what? They're both in it together because they're both benefiting from this relationship. Zoom in the picture. She only has one flower in her hand. I'm like, I don't know, Steve. I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, it's weird to us because we would never do something like that. But for her, this is how she lives her life. But what I have a problem with is then, then she's on a reality show with us and she doesn't show her real life. Yeah. yeah because really I mean, do, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, we she's show just, it, we show it to the internet, but doesn't talk about it with us. Exactly. Yeah. So well, that's what lives, I, and that's the only reason why I'm even talking about well, this now, Marisol, well, because you can't, you can't separate your life outside the show with the show life. Because well, you're gonna have actually, to give us answers. Mm -hmm. She's she she's actually um, doing the same thing. We're seeing it, but she's not confirming anything. She doesn't say anything. We're just watching it through pictures and speculation. It's the same thing. So right, I know. But what I'm trying to say is that she wants like everybody to know about it. Yet we can't have an observation or a comment or ask a question without her getting, you know, very mad about it and having a fight with us. Mm -hmm. But she, yet she's the one that's putting it all out there is, is the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah. Because yeah. if she would not put all of this out in the public, it's not like we're filming again, what I'm saying it's, you know, when we're filming is a different story, but we're not filming now. Mm -hmm. So she could have kept her little fight with Marcus on Sunday, quiet. You know, maybe it's because Marcus didn't take her to the Super Bowl. Maybe they got into a fight because of that. Maybe they got into a fight because Marcus wanted to watch the game with his dad and she wasn't invited. We don't know. And we're never going to know, by the way, because she's never going to say the truth. Mm -hmm. But the fact that she makes it so public is, is why I'm talking about it. Yeah. Baby, it is obvious that Alexia still feels some type of way about Larsa's comment during the season about the fact that she doesn't have a tie like uh, Alexia does. Baby, she has not let that go. And she is coming for blood when it comes to Larsa. And I'm not even a big Alexia fan, but I am here for it going into season, uh, what was that, season seven? The upcoming season will be season seven. I am looking forward to the beef between them because it's going to be epic because neither one of them will ever back down from the other. But I think that Larsa is a little bit scared of Alexia. So I can't wait to see how this war is going to turn out in the next season. And did y'all hear that Alexia said that they got into it at the reunion? So Mind you, they were already beefing towards the end of the season. Then we get to the reunion, they're beefing. And now they're beefing because Alexia and Marisol are speaking out on their opinions on her relationship with Marcus. And I 1000% agree with everything that they said. It was everything that I said in my own reviews that I feel like it was a publicity stunt between the two of them and that they're both fame hungry and will do anything for clout. Now, mind you, you guys, I also want to give you some tea on what went down at the reunion, which will be airing next week. So page six says, according to our insiders, Marcus Jordan, the 33 year old son of Michael Jordan and on and off bow of cast member Larsa Pippen shared intense opinions about the other ladies during a backstage outburst. The women did not hear what Marcus said backstage and didn't even know about the incident until after the reunion taped, one source tells us. But it was captured and the ladies have been made aware of it. Oh my God, so we're going to see another outburst. He going to have a hot mic moment, child. Oh my God. It says, a separate insider claims that what Marcus said is so bad that it would change the cast opinion of him should it ever get out. We're told that he had very strong reactions to what was said at the reunion and subsequently made heated remarks about the cast and show at large. I know you ain't got nothing to say about the show at large when you happily go luckily wanted to be on there and then went on to do a whole nother reality show, a.k.a. The Traitors. Boy, at this point, forget you being Michael Jordan's son. You are a reality star, okay? Girl, get out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, page six also goes on to say, while it isn't clear 
if he verbally attacked anyone specifically on the cast. Um, the second source says that the ladies are bracing for the worst when the reunion begins airing after next week's, actually this week's season six finale. Baby, it's about to go down. I cannot wait. So the ladies don't know what he said and they won't know until the reunion airs. Oh, girl, it's about to go down in these Miami streets, honey. Larsa will be the target going into next season. She already got beef with Gertie because of the way she's treated Gertie during her uh, cancer ordeal. And now she's about to be beefing with Alexia and Marisol. Oh, baby, the uh, the uh, chickens have come home to roost and I am here for it. The takedown of Larsa is happening and I am elated because I can't stand her. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think about all of this and what y'all think he said about the ladies. I cannot wait to find out what he said, child. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button, you guys. I love you so very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.